Dad, how do we even get to the hot rock deep underground for geothermal energy? Do we just dig like crazy? Not quite, Steve. We use advanced drilling rigs, similar to oil and gas, but tailored for high temperatures, hard rock, and corrosive fluids found in geothermal zones. So like a massive drill bit spinning down? Exactly. Most rigs use rotary drilling with a tricone roller bit or a PDC bit, polycrystalline diamond composite, to chew through the rock layer by layer. But those rocks are like thousands of feet down, right? Yep. Some wells reach three to five kilometers deep, and temperatures there can exceed 300 degrees Celsius, so the materials and lubricants have to survive extreme heat. What about the hole? Doesn't it collapse? We use steel casing and cement lining as we go deeper. That stabilizes the borehole and keeps hot fluid from escaping into shallow layers. How do they keep the bit cool? Engineers pump in drilling mud, which cools the bit, removes cuttings, and balances pressure to avoid blowouts. What happens when they reach the reservoir? They test for temperature, pressure, and flow rate. If the rock is hot enough and porous, it's ready for a production well. If not, engineers might use hydraulic stimulation, like fracking, to open up cracks in the rock. So we basically punch a hole in the earth to pull out heat? Exactly! It's deep drilling, thermal science, and geophysics, all rolled into one.